That being said, I did write a letter just this past week to all school authorities reminding them that they cannot ask for proof of vaccination for students, that that will not be a requirement to attend school, that in fact, children can attend school. It is their duty to provide access to education to all children in K-12. But here's the bottom line, Marion. 90% of the people in ICU with COVID-19 are unvaccinated. 90%. That is not an opinion, it is a fact. And so, uh, <laughs> folks, we're all entitled to our opinions, but we're not entitled to make up our own facts. And the reality is that if we were, uh, that, that, that we have adopted a policy for discretionary activities that provides for a chance to limit transmission, Adam Sos for Rebel News here. It is Saturday night here at the UCP AGM in Calgary and the Bear Pit government session just wrapped up. This was a rare opportunity where Premier Kenny and other MLAs, members of Legislative Assembly, were actually forced to answer questions from the members of the UCP. Unsurprisingly, some of the questions that these people are very often attempting to dodge, including COVID-19 restriction measures and vaccine passport measures, were raised by the people in attendance here. So we're going to get into all of that right now in the special feature on the UCP Bear Pit. Thank you. And over to the yes, Mike, and just a reminder that even a preamble counts in that 30 seconds. So please, if, <laughs> if, the, honor, if the honorable member at the yes, Mike, could please take the floor. Yeah, I am Pastor Colwell from Spruce Grove in Lac St. Anne area. Uh, Shane Getson is my MLA. Um, I really appreciate the work of the government, tough times, especially with the COVID issue. And I would just plead that nobody should lose their job over vaccinations, uh, please. But now... The no mic. Hello, I'm Trevor Wilson with Calgary Bow. I have a question about the Moderna vaccine and young people. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt, but some of the conversations taking place here are apparently too hot for YouTube. If you want to see the full video, you're going to have to click the link in the description below, or as always, you can go to rebelnews.com. If you think that vaccine passports are a step too far in violating our fundamental freedoms and rights as Canadians, you can help us fight back in court at fightvaccinepassports.com.